Good morning again. I just want to begin by saying, I call him DIY Freddy T. Because he really didn't do it himself. As the pastor just said earlier, he was a man of many skills and talents. And he took pride in the things that he did. And he had confidence also. And he did his way. Now he just wanted to share some words with you that his wife had to say. And she called this celebrating a good man. She called Boo. Now we know Boo is a term near it. And she starts out by saying, boo, a lot of guys out there think they are mean because they act tough and talk rough. So we are being know that wisdom is true strength, that gentleness is a virtue. Then she said, a lot of guys pray. Freddie had 
he knew that he was going to need to do some things to get to heaven. And so he stayed in his faith, in his church, in his religion. And when he started to fall into ill health, he grew closer to, to God and to his family. We all uh, know that our brother Frederick, Frederick was a, a man of accomplishments, and we know that he had a plan along with God to where he's going to head when it was all finished here. And so he and God formed the plan that they're enacting at this time for him to go to heaven that we pray. We hope that in his prayers he include us that we shall all fall into his loving arms as a family unbroken as we go on uh, past our lives in, in eternity. And so, here's to my brother Fred, my brother Freddie, and all of you. We hope the plan goes, goes through as you wish that it would. And we hope you put the wings on tight, and we'll join you on the other side. Amen. Amen. Then as a man, 
We now see that our father stuck studying the way of God. We saw that he rarely missed Sunday Mass, even when no one went there, uh, he was there himself. He dedicated his life to Christ and living as a faithful steward. We now see that our Father had high hopes for us and wanted to lead us away from the hardships that he faced in his life so that uh, we could live better through his lessons. When it comes to what our Father did, there's far too many things to listen. Everything that he did was for the betterment of everybody that he cared for, not just his family, but his extended family as well. Uh, he wasn't the most, he wasn't the most compassionate person, so he wasn't going to dry your tears. <laughs> but he was one of the most selfless, generous, and giving men that you would ever meet. And I can only dream that one day I can ascertain the things that he has and make people feel the way he has. He would be remembered and well missed, uh, but his life will also be celebrated for the generations to 